The bingo hall. Okay. I don't do bingo, y'all. I'm not on bingo. I didn't say bingo. But he is on. I said the internet. But he is on bingo. I'm not on bingo. Rachel, could you help me kill that? Rachel, could you give me my uh my my iPad? No, my MacBook. Y'all don't play bingo? I love bingo. You know how oh. and apparently that's one of the things we have in common. Oh, okay. Oh, y'all thought you got my computer. I don't know what I mean. She's not, I, I thought she said bingo. Uh, that's what I thought she said. No, bingo. Oh, B I N G O. Oh, okay. But I'm high as fuck. I'm like, well, hold on. What you say, Annie? But no, um, so, okay. So, you love bingo? Me too. Right. I'm so good at it. I don't, I, I don't even know what that is for real. But wait a minute. So, now y'all met at the bingo hall and you are still driving your, uh, your car, your Jaguar. Yes, I recently upgraded it, but yes, okay, so I definitely, yeah. definitely. Uh, okay. Have to do that. Okay. Precious, are you working right now? I am actually yes, I am working and I'm in school right now. Oh shit! Hold on, <laughs> now you gotta add that on a foul. So now you're working. Now where are? Well, I, of course you're not gonna answer that. But school, like where? What? What are we studying? At? Um, my career path is brokerage in real estate. Oh, okay. So you want to get into all that banking and all that financial aid? Oh, you know that. Uh, Look at them in the uh, comments. They know. Uh, I am not lying. Wow. Y'all, I'm not lying. How, did, how come they said it before I answered? Wow. She's doing her real estate tea. I didn't know that tea. So that's Period. new. That's really good. That's mm -hmm. really good. Okay. Mm -hmm. And... And you, right. Are you starting it now or it's like in August? When did that start for your real estate? No, I'm almost done. Oh, you almost done. So you kind of like got a couple more months mm -hmm. to go and then you're done. And... Barely. Oh, mm -hmm. Okay, and now you can start selling. Okay. Um, that's good. Getting it together. Now, with this man, is she going to be also a part? Have you met your mother? Um, we he's met a few friends, okay. but not the family just yet. Um, we're just waiting to see if we are going to um, take it to that next level while we work out the details of our marriage slash engagement. But I definitely, definitely plan on him meeting my family. Um, and you know, vice versa. Right. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. Okay. Totally. Totally. And now you do. Okay. So no family introduction, which is cool. And then now, do you plan on having children with him? Well, I honestly, I don't want any more children. Okay. But. If it happens, I'm not going to be upset about it. But at the end of the day, I just want to have a good time, yeah. build, take trips, build memories. You know, I feel like people put kids in the equation too soon. And everybody know a little bald-headed baby is going to mess up your relationship quicker than your finances. So, with that being said, you know, yeah. no, nah, we're just going to have a good time. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. So, Definitely. so now... Cause I, I I like how you kind of broke that down like that, um, and you're not working currently. You just doing school. I'm working currently. Oh, okay. I'm working. I'm in school. Okay, she's working and she's in school. Okay. Okay. Oh, baby, don't act like I said something so bad. A threesome and a little bald headed baby ain't saving no relationship, sis. Right. Stop playing. Okay. Your man is, uh, actually, in the documentation right here, Precious Renee, it stated that he had conversations with Cherry the Boom. Are you aware of never. any allegations with him and Cherry? Never, never, fuck. Ooh, never fucking talk to him. Never. At all. I'm sorry? Never talk to her at all. Oh, well, they got my. That's new. Uh, That's new. 
That's what I'm saying. What the fuck? Y'all get this shit twisted. It's a PK. If I'm on a PK uh -huh. on Beagle, that don't mean I'm talking. I was saying it was a PK. Yeah. So he, That's all it was. Was. Right, so we're high, uh. Oh. And I'm not on Beagle. My bad. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Oh, it wasn't T. Okay. So what y'all talk about? You said who? Like, what did they talk about him and Cherry? I'm asking him since he, since he wanted to, you know, talk about it. Uh, what did you and Cherry conversation? <laughs> like, what was y'all conversation? If you don't mind, you know. The the conversations. <laughs> we ain't talk about shit really. It it wasn't uh -huh. nothing. We talked on the the PK for like what fucking two minutes and that's it. Okay. It wasn't nothing. Oh, okay. That right. was like two three years ago. Okay. That was uh, a long time have ago. you uh took pressure out on a date since you got with her? Of course. Where y'all go? I'm always taking her out on the dude. Where y'all go? And we gonna go out again? He's taking me out tomorrow. Yeah, but I want I want to, I want to like ask Friday. that tea about when, when he took you. Huh? I want him to kind of like answer that tea about when he took you at just to kind of like get you to him and you know getting to know who he is as well, you know, because he is new. Uh, what did you take her out to eat at? Y'all know I'm country, man. Uh -huh. so, yeah, we went to Hibachi. Oh, okay. Hibachi. Oh. Yeah, Hibachi. I'm country, so we, we do simple shit. Okay, like, that's cute. But I can't, I can't get really fancy. Right. And really romantic. Romantic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. That's what I do. <laughs> All right. She <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with that. Um, I didn't answer for him. It was... Oh, like, why do y'all think I'm lying? Let's just be real here. Did you see me live us at a hibachi restaurant? Yes or no? You asking me that? Did you see us live? Oh. Uh, at a hibachi restaurant? Yes or no? I, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. Oh, they ain't saying yes. <laughs> so I guess he is correct. I'm going to have my assistant put up that YouTube. Um, let me see. So, now... And, and, Thank you for your honesty. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, and he uh supposed to be yeah. working to job, but she. Okay, praise for name. Now, uh, now this is a little on the other side of the fence. Um, in the documentation, I don't know. It was stated right here that you were recently at. Uh, a court hearing on April the 3rd uh, in regards to your daughter, which I'm not going to get into full details about. Uh, what is the update um, with your daughter? Because we know that we got, you know, a couple of, you know, people to reach out. I thought this was about our relationship. <laughs> but, yeah, it is. But because it's a full interview question, it's like, all the questions that are listed here are questions that is well the people the people already told you you know that i was no, supposed I to go to jail part. for four years i didn't get that part of that. yeah well, well that's what they said they said i was supposed to go to jail for four years i wasn't supposed to be released right. yesterday whenever that took place well, uh, but yet here i am right so april 3rd did you go did you uh, show up in court on the third did I show y'all didn't clock that tea? Um, no, pressure. Um, this is all new to me. Like, I'm really trying to like get this. Like, like I'm really trying to get down to it. Like, I thought y'all clocked the tea. No, we didn't clock it at all because I would have had that. And they didn't. The only the only thing they gave me is when I have one foul about the mm -hmm. April third. They they say check in your own pressures because she got court that day. Right, and they said. And they said that uh, I was supposed to be in jail for four yeah, years. Yeah, but like when you had went to court yesterday, what did the judge say? If that was the case, uh -huh. and I was and I and I was at court yesterday, yeah. then why am I here? Uh, 
Yeah, but they have been on file that you actually made an appearance on the third, and you actually didn't pretty much, I don't know. Like, did you, okay, well, let's say this. Did you have court recently? Did I recently have court? Yeah, I did. Okay. The last visit, what was, what did the judge say? Or like, what was going on with the case? Um, that it, we're, it's going to be finished up and I'm going to live my life pretty much. Um, I'm not facing any time. I don't know where that came from, but, um, so you know, I just I, feel like when people pray on your downfall so much, they don't, they don't know the law, I guess, pretty much. So the judge pretty much, did she issue you out some parenting class? Just to ask, because to see why, what did she issue no. out? Okay, so the judge, no. so, go, so they closed in out the case. So are they dismissing the case, or? Uh, yeah. They're dismissing the case. Okay, and do you know when w will they be dismissing this case? If you don't mind. Uh it's very, very soon. Okay, so, so very soon. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, it, just to get more clarity on that, um, dismissing the case, like, what was like the reason why it got dismissed? Like, did they find like that you were? Well, uh, mm -hmm. the reason that it got dismissed is because I don't have a criminal history. Okay. I've never been in any type of trouble. Okay. Um, I've my I've kept my my uh, I haven't been in trouble ever since. Okay. And I am working. I'm in school, okay. and I'm handling my business. So okay. there's no need for me to do any type of jail time, especially when I had you know basically got into it with my daughter, who's 15. Um, she was she spoiled. Right. Um. She did, you know, we just had a little, you know, disrespect thing, mm -hmm. and yeah. you know, it happens yeah. when you have teenagers, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, it's not a big deal. It, it wasn't a situation where, you know, um, right. <clears throat> it was Thank no, you know, abuse or nothing like that they talking about, but I mean, at the end of the day, I feel like anybody would feel, you know, if your teenager disrespects you, I would hope that you would handle what you need to do, you okay, know what I'm saying? Right. Truth be told, right. Um, but that's just what it is. Right. When you say... She's 15, baby. So, now... One five. Now, you can deny these, uh, these claims here that I have right here. Uh, it was stated that you had your child out in the burning hot weather around 120 degrees outside with a turtleneck. And you had um, abused your daughter several times before in the past. And she is not in, what? in your custody. Do you currently have custody? Or is it like... Uh, just ask that, that is not true. That is not... Whoever's uh -huh. like that, that is crazy. Yeah. That's what they all. That is so I'm just true. asking... You know, Get the hell out of here. Right. That is not right. true. No, I was just asking. I didn't want to like do, like make it a big thing. I just wanted to know that part if it was true or not. No, that's, that's okay, definitely that's not, definitely. Okay, definitely not. Okay, let me write that. Okay. At all. That's not. Okay, I just I just feel like no matter what I say, I just let people think what they want to. Right. Think, you know what I'm saying? Um, they don't. You don't know what goes on right. and with my situation. I'm not going to down talk my child for anybody, right. regardless of how I feel or what happened. Right. Um, if anybody's been watching me, they know that I definitely did what I needed to do when it came to my child. Um, so at the end of the day, at this point, no matter what I say, people are going to believe what they want to. Mm -hmm. So, No, she's 15. I know they're going to make it seem like she's a baby and a toddler and all that, but it won't sound as harsh, you know, so they're going to tell you that. But no, she's 15. Right. And you do have custody. <laughs> And that's the yes. I have not lost my okay. rights or any of that, anything like that. No, not at all. And you, and she stays with you. This is kind of. I have been. I've been taking care of my daughter since she was born. So she, okay. So she in your household. And I only have one child. All right. One child that's fifteen. So, 
So with that being said, right. I just feel like you know, you just believe what you want to. Right. I'm fine with I that. I know what I'm saying. I'm, ain't nothing you, you, not bothering you. Know, like when, when you know, currently at the house, like if you were to call, yeah. call her at the end of the call. day, at the end, uh -huh. <laughs> at the end of the day, um. Like I said, anybody that's been a teenager and have a teenager, they know what it is. But because it's me, they're going to make it out to be whatever they want to make it out to be. So with that being said, there's nothing else to talk about on that subject. Right. You know, just I know, just pray I on my downfall. Yeah, you know, I know, no, I don't, you don't want to talk about just, pray, just pray on my downfall. Right. It's not It's, it's wanna... not a big deal. A lot of y'all kids are bad as hell. they disrespectful. they sucking and fucking. they pregnant and all of that. Like, just don't worry about it. You know what I mean? It's okay. Right. Uh, and no, I am not in prison agency. I am out of keys to the streets. Right. I know you don't want to talk about that subject for real, but I just like I'm just trying to see if she at home with you know with mommy. And, and at the end of the day, no. But at the end okay. of the day, I just I definitely definitely you know right. felt like you know. It is what it is. Just stay tuned. And I thought this was about my relationship. You well, know what I'm saying? About and I, you know, I mean, you know how it is going through the motions of a relationship. Right. Like you remember when you was with Joe four or five? Yeah. Right. You remember when you and Joe four or five was together, right? right? Yeah. No thanks. Right. So you know, at the end of the day, I just you know, I you should understand. You know what I mean? Because you went through a lot of stuff with Joe 405. Yeah. You had to expose them. You had to expose your messages, the, the the FaceTimes. You know, you definitely had to pop them and drop them. You know what I mean? And I just respect the fact of how you was able to walk away from that situation and move the fuck on with your head held high. Right. Like, straight up. Right. Well, I appreciate that. Oh, y'all didn't know that? Can, can we talk about that? They didn't know that. Uh uh, we talking about Joe stuff. Wait a minute. I know y'all. I know y'all want to talk about Oh, I guess you don't want to talk about that. It's a lot yeah. going on with her. Oh my god. Wait a minute. So um. Did you feel so? Did you feel away when you found out that he fucked twenty one with no condom? Yeah. No. Uh, no, I didn't at all. Like I, you know, just you know, it ain't. I ain't really care about that. But no. So. Okay, so she got to help. So, is that why you had to, is that why you went to school? Just to, you know. I was already in school, babes. And then why you got a job? Before like, that. Did you get a job because of the court? or? No, I got a job because I'm smart. Oh, okay. And I, I know that, I know that, because I didn't have to. I still don't have to work. Mm -hmm. But I know in the eyes of the law, mm -hmm. they're not going to understand my hustle oh, ways. Hustle. And, and, you know, how I have all the funds that I have. Okay. So, um, yeah, I definitely, we're definitely a smart tactic. Okay. But, yes, for, yes, Joe 405, 1,000%. Okay. Now, Percy Renee, have you ever sold pussy? I know. No. On foul. Okay, well. I feel like as, as women, as women, we've all done some things that we weren't proud of. Right. But if I was an avid an avid yussie seller right. I definitely wouldn't need a pimp it's renegade all day right. and secondly yes and secondly no I would have charges for that type of thing I mean come on right. now you would you could get caught up some kind of way and then thirdly there ain't no money in selling pussy no more you you getting all the money, Kiwan? Right. All them trades, you be fucking right across the corner store and yeah. down there on motherfucking green and seven night. So, you getting all the money. Right. So I know that now you say you never sell pussy. Well, the reason why I brought it up because right here on your file that we have here, Precious Renee, it was stated that uh not too long ago you were uh seen with uh white man and in Las Vegas somewhere and you had like an apartment with that man and you are seen with several <laughs> you are seen with several different other men you have the story uh, after that white you have man the story and you were kind of like you know getting you were kind of like selling pussy during that time for uh stability 
Y'all made the, everybody knows uh-huh. that when I was in Vegas, I was with, I was with TKO Capone when I was in Vegas. Okay. Okay. Right. And ain't nobody ever seen me with no white man. Let's just be clear. Is that not correct, you guys? Wasn't I out in Vegas with TK? I didn't see that. Maybe I'm blind. Don't lie to kick it. Maybe I'm blind. Don't lie to kick know. it. I didn't see that T like that. But no, see, so, so you, okay, so she never saw pussy. So, so with, with the whole white man and all of that, the, the, with the niggas, you didn't, like, live with none of them before? Were you, like, stand with? Thank you, y'all, for telling the truth. Were you stand with, what, <laughs> you said what? like, with one of your tricks? Were you, like, stand with them? Or, like, what? No, I've always, no matter what they say about me, and you know this as well. Yeah. Kiwan, a.k.a. Isaac, right. because we've been doing the internet for about 10 years, well, especially on Facebook. You know I've never had a living situation problem, and I've always had my own place. Is that fair? No, because I ask if you live with one of your tricks. I understand you may have had your own place, but, like, have you lived with one of your tricks before, like... No, <laughs> I, just, I just said that I've never had problems in... I've never had a problem with staying, with the, having my own okay. place or stability. Mm-hmm. I've never been on the homeless uh-huh. stuff on the internet, and they know this. Like y'all looking for tea at this point. No, I've always had my own place. Right. But, I didn't. I, I accepted you, Kiwan, when you were living with your grandma. Remember when you had the milk oh, no, crates holding up your bed and all I that. I never knew where my grandma there. Well, you know, Monica and Pumpkin came down there. You know, and they helped. They had to help you get the ten dollar bag of weed. And then they showed that you, had, that you had the crates holding up your bed and all that in your grandma's house. That was See, the, I don't judge. That wasn't my house. <laughs> yes, it was. That was not my house. <laughs> that was my friend's house. No, not that time when y'all got in a fight over the bag of weed, but yeah, that's where you were staying at. No, I never stayed with my grandmother. Why did you lie? I'm not. Yes, you was. I was not staying with my grandmother. Yes, you I was. never stayed with my like what? I never stayed with my grandma. But And you had the milk crates holding up the bed, the encyclopedias and stuff. Okay. And you didn't have the rails, you didn't have the bed rails. Okay. Right. Well as I could recall, you had your daughter and I haven't seen you with her in a minute, precious. The reason why we wanted to set this up with you is because we, we be just honest, wanted to get clarity on that for real. Because there are people out here who are concerned and who actually care about that type of stuff. Because your name is being, well, you I'm have right. heavy ab- up allegations well, held this, against then. your name. You have a fan base that, that looks for you, support you, and the fact that you have not cleared up the allegation in regard to the damage you have done to your daughter. So, and you have not. No, t- there's no damage. I just, I just established the line of secession uh-huh. and the line of respect. But that's fair. So let me just say this. We haven't really seen each other in a while, Kiwan. You weren't on our side too much. You went over there on a different side of the of the app, and you didn't really get to see. But um, that's absolutely not true. Anybody that's over here, they know that I went above and beyond birthday parties, Disney World, things that you know you, some of our parents didn't do for us, yours included. But that was all documented and on live. And at the end of the day. Can't nobody tell me about my motherhood. Just like I can't tell nobody about theirs. I can just respect it and move forward. But can't nobody say that those are lies. Because I definitely, definitely dropped a bag and did that. Precious Renee, you mentioned that you uh, stay by yourself and that your daughter is only thinking. Oh, and the same people, and the same people, and let's just and let's be and let's be real about this. The same people that you claim are so concerned. Uh-huh yourself when we used to get to it and used to we used to read each other right. you know you used to always say that i never had custody anyway right. is that not correct i don't know about that okay there uh so oh, you mentioned okay. that yeah, you okay. uh live solo and uh you have a 15 year old daughter uh and you're currently laid up with a man right now now considering that it is a weekday uh is there is someone at home monitoring her possibly could you, you say she at home Oh, everything, yes. everything is absolutely fine at this point. Okay. But at the end of the day, I gotta, I'm, 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 
What? And someone monitoring, could you say you have, could you mention that you yeah. home with you and, uh, you got custody <laughs> and all, you right. She's fine. I, do, I have not lost any rights to my child. Right. She's um, at home. She's fine, just like, like you always known that she was. Right, she not. At the end of the damn day. What I'm saying, I definitely don't have her in Granny's basement. Okay, you know, That's using milk crates, shower but I'm just stuff, 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 crack so and stuff. she actually. But at the at end of the day, we know damn well that she's 15 now. years old right now. So is there like a maybe? We keep coming. I thought we were talking about the relationship. We keep. I know, but like we kind of, I'm trying to get the, the nitty gritty of things when it comes down to something so heavy against your name, and you're not defending it. That's not heavy. And you're not addressing it. It's, it's not heavy. It's, it's, it's kind of... Well, because I feel like, why should I, why do I need to explain that to anybody? Ain't nobody, y'all ain't feeding, fucking, or financing me. Right. I would rather you just think what you want to okay. and watch me disappoint you every day. So right. That's okay. I'm okay with that. Okay. So if you don't care if the rumors are true, that they saying that you have... No. I will never, I will never get up here and explain... Um, anything that has to do with my child, I will never get on here and bash okay. her. I will never get on here now, and tell why this, this, and this. No, absolutely not. So she is at home on her own, then? Yeah, she's fine. No, now, she, what's the next question? Not pertaining to her. Can we get back to the relationship? We've Question's talked about her for 20 minutes. And she's in high school. And right. Right. And right, you're claiming that the court is dismissing this case, but how is she? Not a claim; it's a fact. Okay, so they're gonna dismiss the case, but they didn't dismiss it yet. Why didn't you just dismiss it? The last, on the last well, I mean, they also said I was going to jail, and I haven't went. Yeah, yet. but why didn't they dismiss that on the last Thank court so date? I thought when it was taking so long, like, they like they said, it's a, pro it's a, it's a process. process. But un remember uh -huh. when you had went to jail, you had a public defender. You had a public defender. Okay. I have a lawyer okay. that I pay. You have a lawyer. So I'll pay. Oh. you wouldn't understand. Oh, yeah. okay. Because you, you that in. A public defender. Like you got a lawyer without pay. Yeah. Okay. No, I have a lawyer that I pay. Uh. You had a public defender. Okay. It's two different words. Okay. Right. And yeah. Okay. Well, I well I stay with my husband in the house, but now so are you? No, you stay with Graham. No, but okay. I stay with my nigga. But um, I don't no, know what that is. So we are dead with, with, with your nigga. So are you actually um? No, we stay with we stay with you stay with Grandma. Right. Don't play. So right. And how old is he again? You didn't tell me his age, my love. Dang! What does that matter? What? He he's not a teenager. I know, but he's how old is he? He's old enough. I don't want to. What do you want to know his age for? Like, give me like roughly around. Uh, give me an estimate. Like uh, around about early thirties. Early thirties. So he twenty nine going into thirty. I mean, he, he got 31, 32, no higher than 35. Correct. Okay. And uh, he's of consenting age. Okay. Yes. Thank you for, for clarifying that. Like, don't come, don't, yes, it's okay. I have, n I am not bothered. Okay. And he don't have nothing. About the same amount, about a little bit more than what you got. No shade. He don't have his. At least he has clean clothes and clean collars. Okay. Now, Princess Renee, did you Two ever go eaters. to the clinic? Um, we have here on file that uh, some time ago there was some allegations held against you in regard to some STD that you did catch. Um, with, uh, before this man got in the picture, there was another trick that you were laid up with and you were staying with him for a place. <laughs> and we remember the team about you catching some type of STD or gonorrhea or something of that sort. Did you ever go well, to the clinic to get that result? Or 
Let me tell you that, that I know you just made that up. No, but I let me just I, go ahead and clarify. You, I, 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 yeah, that actually happened. That's the real team, bitch. We know you flipped that. You flipped that paper over. Ain't nothing on it. No, but it let's is. talk about it. I, Literally, I always. Oh, that's a bad handwriting. Them, them look like lyrics. Right. But look, I always go and make sure that I take good care of myself. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I always will make sure. I just hope that you're doing the same thing with all the trade hunting and stuff you do. Right. Like when we saw you in the hotel, laid up on that boy's back when you was mad at Joe 405. Okay. Did you go to the clinic after that? Okay. So, this is what I want to ask. Oh, so he's he just, he just curving my question. Right. right? I understand just that my you shit. are, <laughs> you know, you're going through a lot right now. And. <laughs> You kind of breaking down, you know, and I understand you trying to find you somebody to cope with, and you're kind of using him as, you know, bait and breaking him in your shit. I thought he was using me. Like, you're kind of like, well, I'm saying, like, in a different way, like, not financially, but it's more so, like, you know, just to kind of have comfort, uh, and, you know, just really because you don't want to face reality for real and what has been going on with you. And now you're bringing this man into your life and you are broken and you have not healed up. You have too much going on within yourself right now and you're not taking it serious. You're laid up in a hotel room, a motel room at that. And you have smoking a, a, a hookah and drinking gallons of champagne, partying and living the life. And there are things that need to be handled first. So what we're saying here is that what are, we, what are we doing to, you know, get that process started? Well, let's just uh, think about it. My situation took place in October of 2022. It is 2024. Okay. I've had plenty of time to heal and mentally be right. Okay. If everybody knows what happened, I definitely, definitely have came a long way since that happened. So I don't know what you mean, okay. but at the end of the day, when it comes to relationships and being with somebody that really, really loves, respects, and values you, you're definitely going to find comfort in that in both ways. I know you don't know nothing about that because you're selling your, bo your booty all over the south side of Chicago, but either way it go, that's usually what a relation is, relationship is, you know what I'm saying, with a little bit of give and take. So um, at the end of the day, I'm good. I appreciate the concern and all of that. But at the end of the day, you know, I don't have to search and do anything. But you, you need to search and find a washing machine to clean those clothes when you go live every day. Okay. So, it's kind of the same. Right. Once again, you are still trying to deflect. You, Did it, I lie? Yeah. You're, you're trying to... Spin the narrative. I get it. You trying to play the little, you know, kiki kaka game. I get it. But what I don't get is spinning the narrative. You, every time you I come live, your clothes are dirty. What I don't. How is that spinning the narrative? But hold on, pressure. But what I don't understand is that you are having a man into your home, right? You don't even know this man. Where the where you the don't hotel? Know the motel, like you said. At all, and you trying to. I don't know if you paying him. I don't I don't know if you buy it. But do you know every man you meet on Grinder? Right. Jack. But what I'm saying Tag. to you is that there are some things that are, you know, not being addressed. I just wanna make sure like, that you know you, okay. you 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 can't talk. Right. But what I'm saying to you is that the man that you're currently laid up with is not there for the reason you may think it is. Or he may think. What is the reason? So it's kind of like. What's the reason? Uh, you don't know him for one question. That you can't even. How do you know what I know? Because you're laid up in the motel, my love. You claim that I that I'm a prostitute, just like you are, right? I don't know. So don't you think uh, that? Well, hold on, hold on, let me finish. Don't you think that making snap judgments about people that we just meet is part of the job description? Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, but see, in your circumstances, my love, oh, and oh, yours, oh, yours okay. don't match that one, though. Yours is more like, because you're going through something, and I know that, you know, you don't want to address it or talk about it publicly, but just, you know, on the outside looking in, uh, you have not completely 
healed and you are living with guilt right now and you are finding everything to you know distract i don't think that you that just is sat not up true. here and told me that you will have a family with this dude who you barely know who you don't even i said i didn't want anything you don't did you write that down wrong you don't you don't even trust him at your house nor do he trust you that he is so that alone and then you claiming y'all went to what they say they went to hibachi they went to yeah just hibachi grill you know uh like i'm confused where's the, where's the last time you been on a date Kiwan? yeah but like usually like i'll allow my man to come to my home if i feel like it's the, you know if we're but you don't have you live but so how does that you work? Know, you gotta go out to the side of the bed. That's the gag of it all, and then I don't. And I that, that. Is not, that, is, that ain't the gag of it all, because that's the facts of it all. That's okay. the facts of life. Okay, that's good, Precious Renee. I'm glad you know. Now, can we focus on what actually matters? You steady going off the track, and it's not. No, it, that, we, we're focusing on what matters. I'm just trying to figure out why do you feel the need to feel like you can cast judgment upon me and your life is in shambles. Your stuff isn't together. But I don't have a... Like, 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 like let's be real. You, like, come on now. Like, I'm just asking. Your, your ear is falling off. You got ball spots all around your shit. You spray that shit in the front to cover it up. You know what I'm saying? I like, mean, your clothes I stay dirty. That, but it's like... You living with granny? You got a shower curtain to cover up that brick hole in the back? Okay, so are you um actually... Look at, look at, look at that. Like, come on. Wait a minute, Precious. So are you actually, like, right now, are you actually, you know, um trying to at least, you know, get your daughter back? Because I know that you said she at home, but honestly... What? what? But, but if you... Find, okay, but make this make sense. If you claim that I was so bad to her... Mm -hmm. And I did all of this. Why would why would and you feel like her safety is more important than anything? Why would you want her to come? Why would you want me to get her back or her to come back to you? Well, I would hope that she don't go back to you because you are with a you're, right. So why are we asking that? You're laid up with a man right now who can't even pay your bills. Are you jealous? Are you jealous? Ask him. Ask him for five dollars, and I bet you he ain't giving you shit. Are you jealous? Ask him for are you jealous? Ask him for $5. $5? $20. $5. Are you jealous? Ask him for $5. $5? $5 is like a nickel. $5 is like a nickel. See, for somebody like $25 would be a good. Because all you got to do is go turn up your grandma's couch, find okay. another $5 and change, and go buy a $10 right. bag of weed. See, that would okay, be a so up to you, ask baby. Him for but $5? Ask him for some money. $5? I understand that, girl, but ask him for some shit right now. You're like I feel like you're being very, very unfair. And wow. as an interviewer, you should you can't no, be biased. And I feel not like you're really the question that, that I'm asking you. Because we haven't seen you do any of the things that you're requesting of me. That's why we're here, baby, if you need to show the proof. Okay, so why haven't you had somebody take you out, somebody give you some money, somebody buy you some outfits, buy you an ear job? You know, Person, why you have to keep spraying that, that black paint on Person, your hairline. Uh, like why do you, why do you I don't get it. <laughs> hey, uh, so we have one because normally with the docket, y'all stuff stay on. He just came in here to do big gifts on me. Stay, I'm waiting on your man to minute. come throw some on normally, you. Normally, um, at the here, you talking about five? Here, at the docket, you guys, we keep their stuff on file for at least ten years, um, uh, in case. They <laughs> So, hey, Preston, uh, the man right here, uh, uh, does he look familiar to you, Buki? Is that the same man you laid up with, or is this another one? Oh, no, that's X. He was fine. Okay. Right? No, that's just it. That's an X. So, what was that? I just said he was an X. Right, but... He was fine, too. Because you always get these... It's a lifestyle, baby. She always get these fine niggas, and I'm trying to figure out what is her formula. Because the mug, baby, no... <laughs> Uh uh, Clock bitch. It. What's her team? It's giving like I don't so, know if she giving out some right, money. So it's giving paymaster, bitch. But hold on, let me see. Where's yours at? Okay. No, since it's giving like you can't predict. But hold on, let me uh. No, uh, baby. See, you gotta. <laughs> I gotta pay for the dick. You see that song? I'm, now I gotta be a paymaster. 
the. Oh, <coughs> no, I'm saying it's like. I don't know, Em, because you always been... Like, is it, like, so if you're telling me right now that it's hard to believe that I can be with a man that's attractive? It's not that it's hard to believe, Precious Renee. It's just, like, it don't fit you. Then, then you hate it. You hate no, it. No, it just don't. Because obviously, baby, if that's the case, it ain't about the looks. It's about the personality, the drive, the energy. The motherfucking all of that that you don't have because we've never seen you with anybody that looks halfway decent, <laughs> except for Joe Four Hundred Five, but he left you. Pressure for that. Uh, I mentioned. <laughs> I mentioned. I mean, not I. You mentioned. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm so gay. <laughs> My love, you mentioned that you uh never, you never had a sugar daddy ever. <laughs> no, I didn't. I have, I have had plenty and plenty of sponsors. Yes, I have. I never said I didn't. Wait, so are you clearing the allegation up now? Like, what's going on? Can you do? Let me see what she's saying. I'm going. I was never asked if I had sugar daddies and sponsors. No, it's there right here. Like, you but I thought no, everybody knew already. I thought everybody knew that already. But you said you never lived with none of your tricks. <laughs> I, I not lived with. I didn't live with and having is two different things. I've had them, never needed to live with them, baby. Okay. Does this face ring a bell to you? No. Ooh. <laughs> Who is that? See y'all. No, what's yeah. going on? Hold on. She's trying no, to key that. All right, so. She's trying to key that. She's trying to act like, uh-uh, no. Point. So let me like, wake you up. Seriously? Seriously she, no, she gagged. She gagged. I see her. No, she gagged and no, then tried to stop. laugh it off. Like, stop. no. <laughs> She's trying to laugh it off, girl. No, this is the real thing. Really? Yeah, it gagged Really? Her. Uh, so, what is that supposed, so what is that supposed to prove? That, I, that like, what? I don't, I don't understand. Does he, do, you do know who that is, right? <laughs> no. No, I don't. But is that I thought you were supposed to show that. See, gang, that's what it gave. Like, so y'all, since she don't know who this is, let me remind her who this is. Uh, this post has been her little shit that he was there with. Okay, down there in Vegas. That's a lie. Now, I don't know, like I said, if she was really, like, doing her big one. But yeah, that's one of her. Oh, so that's biased. her client she was there with. So she was there with him. You are so No, biased. I'm just telling them the team because you acting like You are so No, biased. I always said that because I didn't know that you have to sit here and make it up. Like it's a funny little no, kiki and all of that. That's the team. But I did not know that you would sit here for content because I've been telling you the truth about certain things that I know about you. Uh, that you have to you sit here about, and like no, really no pull out the shit. Like straight up. I thought you was gonna show some real receipts. Me being around, me being together. Like, I did. You I really you trying to pull stuff out the I head. told you one of your ex. And Those are not receipts. Yes, they like, are, like, baby. What? Okay, so what are the receipts? No. Okay, so where's the receipt on the judge saying that you got custody and all this other stuff? It, it's, it's public record. Look it up. You, you didn't have that receipt? No. I want you to kind of show me that. Girl, that old ass picture. I want you to... <laughs> Now, this is, real this is real receipts. Y'all know, y'all know. This is real receipts. It's like she trying That's to like. That's how you pull the receipts, my boy. That's how you pull it. Okay. Yeah, like wake up, like wake your team up, like girl. What are you talking about? Like what? Like, uh, oh. uh, can you wake yours up? Like, apparently, these people didn't know. Okay. Can we wake yours up? Okay, pressure. How come your man ain't gay and bisexual, but mine is? Where is the documents? Oh, no, since you ain't your name Receipt Queen. Wait, I didn't see no receipt. What do you call? What the hell do you call this? Right. What do you call this? Be fair. She yeah, tell him to be fair. He don't want to talk about nigga it. She's over there, and she don't want her tea out there. Too. No, you she can't. She didn't tell that nigga a lot. You can't. You don't know what happened with this time. And she didn't tell that nigga over there to bullshit. That's what happened. This is real okay. receipt. She didn't tell her nigga to fuck clown lame shit. This is what you were doing with the fucking bumper. This is what you were doing with the bumper. 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 You were
That's why she ate over there talking about a bitch. Because that nigga over there is milking the fuck out of her and is really taking all her goddamn SSS checks and her royalty. She don't have custody of her child. Her child is nowhere near her. The court took her children. The state took her child. She don't have nowhere to go. And giving very much homely. And her dirty ass laid up in a dusty ass. $30 a motherfucking night ass motel room. Ain't talking about a fuck ass thing. And ain't even getting no dick. How you in the motel room and you ain't getting no motherfucking dick, ho? 